On my monthly call-in podcast, Letting Off Steam, I've mentioned how I don't trust Valve with the Steam Deck. I don't trust Valve to keep up with the Steam Deck long enough to make it a worthwhile purchase for anyone other than the top enthusiasts. They get distracted. They get very interested in something new quickly, almost as soon as a new product launches. This conversation has been going on a lot on my Discord server and my Twitter DMs because I don't trust them. And a lot of people are quite excited for the Steam Deck and they don't completely understand where I'm coming from. The conversation kind of goes like this. Why don't you think they're going to be following up with the Steam Deck? Because they have a history of not following through with their projects. That can't be true. They're a multi-billion dollar independent company. Okay. Name me some of the things that they've done in the past 20 years, and I'll tell you if they followed through. Did they follow through on Underlords? No. Did they follow through on Artifact? No. Did they follow through on Artifact 2.0? No. Did they follow through on the Steam VR software? No. Did they follow through with Steam VR Home? No. Did they follow through with bringing the Valve Index to international audience? No. Did they follow through with updating some of the hardware brought with the Valve Index? No. Did they follow through on getting more Valve Index quantities out to the mass? No. Did they follow through on fixing the major launch bugs with Half-Life Alex. No. Did they follow through on making the Half-Life Alex workshop not terrible and buggy? No. Did they follow through on Steam OS? Yes. Did they follow through on the Dota 2 competitive scene? No. Did they follow through on the CSGO competitive scene officially sponsored by them? No. Did they follow through on bringing an end to the Team Fortress cheater? No. Did they follow through on bringing some more Team Fortress 2 community update themes aside from just the one jungle up? No. Did they follow through on finishing the Team Fortress comic? No. Did they follow through on the Steam Curators program? No. Did they follow through on updating the Steam mobile app? No. Did they follow through on bringing back Steam flash sales like promised? No. Did they follow through on improving the Steam translation server? No. Did they follow through on updating the Steam controller? No. Did they follow through on updating the Steam Link app or hardware? No. Did they follow through on making Steam trading safer or updating it in any way? No. Did they follow through on the Steam Labs program? Yes. Did they follow through on making the Steam marketplace less predatory? or just in generally updating it? No. Did they follow through on Proton? Yes. Did they follow through on updating that weird Steam mobile chat app? No. Did they follow through on competing with Facebook or Oculus or Meta in any way in the VR space? No. Did they follow through with Portal 2 trading? No. Did they follow through with the four pieces of originally promised Portal 2 DLC? I mean, they had that extra room that let you pick DLC packs to play. They couldn't have just launched with the one. No. Did they follow through on letting people test out and give feedback on Team Fortress 2 in development comp maps, things like Cactus Canyon and Asteroid? No. Did they follow through on Alien Swarm in any way? No. Did they follow through on the Steam box? No. Did they follow through on making Steam gems something worth having? No. Did they follow through on giving out the Source 2 SDK for free? No. Or at all? No. Did they follow through on attempting to leave the wilderness and try and expand their public communication following Half-Life Alex? No. Did they try and make the office less of a sausage fest, as stated in the final hours of Half-Life Alex. No, and in fact, it seems like women are quitting far more often than men at Valve Software. I don't know why, though. Did they follow through on releasing the Doom Eternal soundtrack? That's id Software, but they should still release it. Did they follow through on trying to compete with Epic in any way? No. Free weekly games? No. Trying to give developers a better cut? No. Paying people in any way outside of their agreed on 30%? No. Why didn't they follow through on any of them? They got distracted with whatever the new thing they were working on was. Well, what's the new thing they're working on now that's keeping people from finishing previous promises? The Steam Deck. Yeah, so Valve does not have a good track record of following through with any of their projects. They're a company of like 250 people that are independently held and brag about the fact that they do not budget their money because their infinite money fountain of taking 30% of the majority of sales done on Steam without any work from their end other than server upkeep and promising future features that almost never come out of beta has been keeping them afloat for a decade. Half-Life Alex was supposedly the start of a new era of Valve, but due to a combination of problems, including the COVID-19 virus, that didn't happen. And now we're waiting on a new piece of hardware to release. A new piece of hardware that, if Valve wants it to remain competitive with the ever-changing global PC hardware market, they would have to be updating it 
frequently. And as of now, we still don't even have information on when they're going to be launching replacement parts. The Steam Deck is obviously going to have problems with sourcing its parts for manufacture. And due to that, they are going to be slowly drip feeding hardware units out to the public week by week, something that is very dangerous for Valve. If they are needed to do something week on week for a long period of time, a lot of people are going to get bored and move on to other projects. This happens for many reasons, and there's nothing the public can do to try and help improve it in any way. Generally speaking, it comes down to the fact that there is no accountability from the top down whatsoever. The only true form of accountability that uh, exists at Valve Software is the yearly employee evaluations, but due to stacked ranking and the fact that when you work in a flat hierarchy with more than 100 people, you actually form some very natural hierarchy that has more to do with confidence, longevity, and seniority than actual skill or talent. And the perceived value of pushing things out isn't actually perceived by how the public is receiving it, but instead how the higher ups that are formed naturally in that hierarchy are receiving it. And they could be incredibly biased and try and direct people away from working on something that may actually take power away from them. This is a super complicated way of saying, if you notice that when Valve actually starts talking to the press about a new thing they're working on, whether it be hardware or software, and there are specific individuals that always seem to be part of the launch team be a little skeptical that those individuals are actually doing anything of value. There are individuals that just insert themselves onto teams just for the public knowledge of things. It's a very nefarious system because these are the same individuals that will do things like write up a fake employee manual to purposely leak out to the public to try and convince up and coming developers to work for them. Even though there is no such thing as a yearly employee handbook, there has never been a an employee handbook following the leak in 2013 and how it's described in that handbook is nowhere near how it's actually done in Valve's office. Valve is a mess. Valve has always been a mess, but Valve is full of geniuses. And unfortunately, there's like 5% of people that seems to just make the whole system fall apart. And all of these reasons are why I don't trust like that. I don't trust the Steam Deck to have a long-term lifespan. It doesn't matter what anybody says in the short term, actions speak louder than words. And I've been a massive Valve fan for longer than I can remember, and I have experienced many different product releases with a promised bright future that never went anywhere because people got distracted internally on things that have a 95% chance of never being seen by the public. I'm still gonna buy one though because I'm a fucking schmuck.